The Multi-Ethnic Resource Center on the University of Minnesota Morris campus was constructed in 1899 and has had multiple uses over the last 124 years. It is the only building on campus dating to the Native American boarding school period. Because of its significance, it is on the National Register of Historic Places. The MRC building is an important part of our past, and we recognize that and honor that. It continues to be uh, important and significant of how we do our present programs and events. The building has original exterior, doors and windows, in addition to the original steam heating system. Window air conditioning is the only climate control system. The building has received minor modifications throughout the years. It has basically been painted and some offices built within the building. In 2000, we added a ramp to the lower level, which created accessible space in the basement of this building. But you are not able to go from the basement level to anywhere other parts of the building. The building is currently home to the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Intercultural Programs, the Native American Student Success Program, the Resource Center for Gender, Women, and Sexuality, and the Student Newspaper. These essential campus resources and programs are frequently visited by students. However, our main floor, as well as our second floor, which is where the Native American Student Success Program is housed, is not accessible. In addition to our restrooms also not being physically accessible. The heat and temperature is very challenging for our staff, as well as our students. And so one part of the building might be extremely hot, and the other part of the building might be very cold. And so just as a, a work environment, uh, as well as for our students studying and doing organizational programs, it can be really hard to be in a space where uh, the climate is, is not conducive to learning and working. $3.3 million in legislative support will allow for the addition of an elevator to make all three floors of the building accessible, to update bathroom facilities on all floors, and to complete energy-saving retrofits. The plan would be to add a modern um, heating ventilation system to the building. Um, right now it runs on a steam system that is very inefficient, and our plan would be to update this to a system that would allow us to have a very energy efficient heating and cooling condition in here that would have better indoor air quality. And the plan would be to connect that to the, our overall goals for sustainability and reducing our energy footprint for this building and make the inhabitants have a better experience, the faculty, staff, and students.